Welcome back to the Crypto Bar channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Bitcoin is still running into this short term resistance while this bullish divergence is now fading away, which I'll talk more about in just a moment. So, definitely stick around. First of all, just giving you a really quick update here on the daily Bitcoin chart. And basically, not much has happened over the last one to two days. So technically speaking, with the break to the downside in the price action and the RSI, we're still looking technically more bearish than bullish as of right now on the daily time frame. But with that being said, we're seeing very low momentum in the daily Bitcoin MACD, which means I wouldn't exactly be expecting a significant move to the downside like this on the daily time frame. And instead, some more mild bearish bearish price action, if not more choppy sideways price action are the most likely scenarios in the somewhat shorter term here on the daily time frame. And now if you zoom into the shorter term, this right here is the four hour Bitcoin to US dollar chart. And obviously the price of Bitcoin is still running into this area of resistance, which is coming into play in between around 16.7K going up towards around 16.9K approximately. And now if the price of Bitcoin can eventually break above 16.9K, we would likely head up towards this this next area of resistance, which is sitting at around 17.3 to 17.4K. But on the flip side, if the price of Bitcoin fails with breaking above 16.9K and we continue in more of a rejection from this resistance, then it's likely Bitcoin would come back down towards this low, which is at around 16.2 to 16.3K. And as of right now, in terms of the short term trend, technically this is still a short term bearish trend as we are seeing a lower high lower low formation. But of course, over the last few days, we've seen a pause from this short-term bearish trend just after seeing this bullish divergence here on the four-hour Bitcoin chart. But typically, bullish divergence patterns on the four-hour timeframe last for around one to two days or so on average. And it's already been a few days since this bullish divergence. And also over the last one to two days, we've actually been seeing declining bullish momentum here in the four-hour Bitcoin MACD. And so this is just a signal basically backing up the fact that this bullish divergence on the four hour time frame is now fading away, which means the probability for some increased bearish momentum in the shorter term is increasing right now. But technically speaking, even though the probability for the bearish scenario is currently increasing, we haven't yet seen a bearish confirmation signal in the momentum indicators like the MACD, for example, we haven't crossed bearish just yet. So until then, in the imminent short term, we're still looking very neutral. So most likely some sideways price action. Now, of course, if you're just a hodler, this can be very boring. But for the traders out there, there's still ways to make a lot of money in crypto, even if the price is chopping around sideways. And if you want to know how to do that, then stick around to the end of this video to find out more. And while we're here on the four hour Bitcoin chart, I mentioned yesterday that we're possibly forming a falling wedge pattern. And now obviously this line of support is very very much confirmed as a line of support. We've seen three solid touch points along this line. But with that being said, if you're looking at this potential line of resistance, we haven't technically yet confirmed this line of resistance because we still need to confirm this second touch point with a rejection. Because otherwise, if we only have one confirmed touch point along a line of resistance, it's not really a significant line of resistance because obviously, for example, if the price continues a little bit higher here, I could just readjust this line. If we don't have two or more confirmed touch points. And so technically speaking, in order for this falling wedge pattern, which I mentioned in my last video, in order for this pattern to actually confirm the formation stage, we still need to actually see a rejection of some sort from this resistance, which as of right now, I've got it at around 16.8 to 16.9K. So around this horizontal resistance right here. But anyway, getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this right here is the daily ETH to US dollar chart. And obviously, Obviously, over the last one day, nothing much has happened here on this chart on this time frame. And so if you're new to the channel and you want to know more about this, then check out my last one to two videos here on the channel to save myself repeating the same information. And now if you zoom into the shorter term, this right here is the four hour ETH to US dollar chart. And as of right now, the price of ETH is still running into this horizontal level of resistance, which is at around 1220 to 1230 approximately. And like I said, for Bitcoin, if you're looking at the 
the four hour Ethereum MACD, we're actually seeing declining bullish momentum in the short term, which is increasing the probability for potentially some more bearish price action coming soon. But we haven't yet seen that bearish confirmation signal in the MACD, for example, a bearish cross. We haven't seen that just yet, but the probability of that happening is currently increasing while we're seeing declining bullish momentum. So if the price of ETH breaks above this resistance, it would have to do it pretty soon. And in that case, if we see a confirmed break above this resistance that I just mentioned, then it's likely the price would continue heading up towards this range of resistance, which is sitting at around 1280, going up towards around 1320. And as for support, if we actually see a rejection from this resistance that we're running into right now and see this bearish cross potentially coming soon in the MACD, then in that case, a rejection would likely push the price down towards this next support level, which is at around 1150 to 1160 approximately. And if that happens, that would potentially complete a massive head and shoulders pattern that is forming right now. But as always, it is important to mention that these head and shoulders patterns are not confirmed until they complete the formation phase. And then they need to see a confirmed break below this neckline, once again, at around 1150. And so until that actually happens, this massive head and shoulders pattern is not yet active on the chart. It is not currently in play, but it is potentially forming. So it's something to at least pay attention to. And once again, just like I said, for Bitcoin on the four hour time frame, technically speaking, we're still within a short term bearish trend in a lower high, lower low price structure. But if the price of ETH flips this resistance into new support again, then that would be a signal of a bullish trend reversal. But until we see that, we are still within this bearish trend. We're just seeing a pause at the moment from the bearish trend. And now if you want to know how to maximize your profits in crypto, no matter if the price is going to the upside, to the downside, or simply chopping around sideways, then make sure to check out these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left of your screen shows you how to make money in crypto if the price is trending either up or down. And the video in the bottom left of your screen shows you how to make money in crypto if the price is chopping around sideways. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.